Claudia, we are really excited to bring this webinar all together. I'm Sonika. I'm a digital marketing associate in Aretic. And uh, right now we have a few attendees. I will be um, starting at four o'clock sharp so that more of the, more people can join us. And uh, after that, we'll start the webinar. So let me just reshare the screen and check all the things are working. Okay. Great. So how are you guys doing? Um, it's a very um, crucial time for all of us. Today morning, uh, our, our, our ministers had uh, told us that this uh, lockdown will be extended till 3rd May. So I want you guys to be positive about it and uh, be courageous about it, how to deal with it, how to... Um, be strong and uh, how to see this thing in a positive way. So I really want a quick introduction from all of the 10 days that where you guys from, what you do, so that we can be uh, knowing each other for the webinar for next one hour. And uh, yeah, so I will be seeing the chat and uh, let's introduce each other. I can see a few uh, attendees over here. So we will be starting our webinar at four. So before it's, it's two, three minutes. So we will be having an introduction session uh, who all are there with us and for next one hour. Hi, Praveen, Fawad. So, uh, just put down your name, your occupation, what you are, and um, also also put down your all the questions. Uh, take a note from it, and whatever you feel like to have a question after, and feel like to ask us after the webinar, you are free to ask, and we will be answering it. Hi, Kevin. Okay. Hi, Navjot. It's a uh, Navjot working as a marketing automation. And it's a pleasure to have you here. It may be uh, possible that we, you will be learning more about it and using it for your work. Harish, great, great. So more attendees are joining us. Let's wait for one more minute and we'll join and we'll start it. Great, great, great. Okay, so yeah hi hi everybody it's really really energizing and really good to see all you all here and uh, all this crowd and uh, making great use of this time and attending webinars and uh, using your uh, using your own knowledge to express it through linkedin through posts through content creations everywhere and i can see many other webinars also people are organizing it which, which is very good to use better better use of this timing this period where um, where we, we don't have to travel anymore. We have we don't have other other things to uh, consume uh, our time. So it's very good to see um, this uh, like community growing. So um, I'm Sonika. I'm a digital marketing associate in Aretic, and with me today I have a speaker of the webinar who will be talking about marketing automation strategies and results and where a business can expect after implementing it how a business can grow its its result through automation so talking about the speaker um, i really grew myself in the field of automation i really uh, know 
all the tactics, the features of lead nurturing, how to use it, how to do email campaigns, how to optimize it, how to uh, use the lead generation, how to uh, nurture it after that. It's good. It's, it's, it's very good. And I had a great exposure of that uh, for B2B marketing, for B2C marketing. And um, I really uh, thank Ankit sir, Ankit Prakash that to make me learn about automation and so that I can be a part of it and uh, this webinar and learn from him more. Talking about uh, um, uh, Ankit, he is a uh, co-founder of Heretic. Heretic, um, Heretic is just like a SaaS product. I will be sharing my uh, screen so that you guys can also see it. Just a minute. I hope you guys can see it. Okay. So Heretic is a SLAS platform for business automate uh, operation for data I guess, software. And it's a Bangalore based company started operation in 2015 with two major products, Easy Send and Heretic. Easy Send is more about SMS, sending SMS to a small businesses and email. Heretic is more of uh, mid enterprise and enterprise consisting of uh, comprised of 2000 companies working with across globe. And uh, in January 2020, we have also started deep down into India and Southeast Asia market. So a couple of brands which is using Heretic platforms, uh, personal marketing, uh, Reliance, uh, Kit, sorry, okay. Also brand using uh, Heretics are Reliance, uh, Personal Marketing, Abbott, Extra, uh, Mid Primer, and other, other group, booking group also. So we, in, in this Heretic uh, ecosystem, we have other products also like Pinpoint, Sales, Dex, Mail, Swarm, Press, Social. These are all the uh, product ecosystem of Heretic, which, which, which we use for different segments and work. And uh, this is the milestone which have we have uh, gained in 2019 March. We have launched Easy Sunday, Pinpoint, CR, and Dex Swarm. And in May 2000, we will be launching Press, Social, and soon Analytics also. So while starting this webinar, this uh, we came across the Heretic Live. We started the Heretic Live, which is exclusively online talk show organized for me, marketing, sales, and business people. So that they can also they can also know more about automation through this platform, and we we have a community in different platforms where people come and talk about uh, their experience, how they have used their and the strategies, how they have used different strategies in their project products, and and had a uh, great um, use from it. So. Um, Today's speaker is none other than the co-founder of Heretic, Ankit Prakash. And he has, uh, he has given me an immense knowledge about automation, about different approach of doing B2B marketing and B2C marketing. And I'm really happy to introduce uh, him in front of you guys um, here, Ankit Prakash. And he will be uh, sharing us the knowledge. But before it, I really, uh, I want you guys to make a note of all the things so that uh, you will be un, um, asking questions after after the webinar if any required. So yeah, I'm making host. Okay. Hey everyone. Hi. So uh, we have a lot of attendees today, uh, Sonika. I'm really uh, thankful to our marketing team who has uh, worked really hard to bring uh, a lot of audience from across the world, even uh, during the lockdown time, when we are we all are working from home. So we have a lot of attendees from different sectors, different professionals out there. We could see in the, into the introduction. So uh, let me... Uh, present my screen where uh, we we made a really good PPT to present today uh, among everyone out here. So, cool.
Uh, today, uh, I'll be uh, talking everything around uh, marketing automation uh, on which the product platform we have been working and we started working together on Aeretic and uh, Data Ages uh, Software Private Limited, uh, where we, we started uh, these products as email marketing products, then later on grew it into complete uh, suit of marketing automation and where we are working with some of the largest companies across the globe. We have a lot of large customer base uh, working with in Malaysia, India, and then uh, different regions across Europe and US. So uh, when we talk about uh, marketing uh, automation and marketing strategies, all of a sudden everything uh, revolves, it starts revolving around uh, how to bring in customers, how to bring in leads, how to bring in a lot of uh, audience into the interested product business or any entity. So uh, this marketing strategy, when we when we start implementing the marketing automation suit of products, uh, we could see uh, what exactly marketing automation, the definition of the market is. It is more about the platform which is designed to automate repetitive tasks of marketing, streamline and automate uh, the customer uh, communication where a lot of leads, customers going into the business, they need a lot of information about the business, about the product, in case of B2B, these communications are mostly one-on-one -on -one engagement, uh, engagement-based information that are usually distributed over email, SMS, post notification, social media messages, and ads also. Apart from this, all of the automation uh, marketing or the marketing automation usually integrates with uh, with whole whole of the. Uh, whole of the software ecosystem which your organization uses. So if your organization is using any CMS to manage the website, to manage mobile app, to manage ads, to deliver ads, or any of the CRM which your sales team are using in your in your company, all these things get integrated with marketing automation kind of product out here and then it, it helps you orchestrate all of the customer journey so that if any of the customer coming into the funnel uh, which is a very famous uh, v funnel uh, appearing on my screen uh, you could see this v funnel from any place where the customers are landing or the leads are landing into the funnel uh, they get uh, relevant messages about the product about the service of the company here uh, we have uh, many different marketing automation products in the market fitting the requirement of uh, B2B and B2C companies. So when we see as B2B companies, B2B companies, uh, they usually look out for marketing automation products, which helps them with lead generation, then engagement, one-on-one -on -one personalized focus. Whereas in B2C companies, there is a little bit of difference in implementation of marketing automation where their goal is a little bit different, where they usually focus on more of building brands and then automating the customer uh, centralized database. Uh, that is what in B2C uh, automation looks like. Whereas in B2B again, uh, we have, uh, we usually, uh, the marketers, they day in, day out, they spend on their prospects, their leads, they keep on uh, modifying their uh, contact information collecting more and more contact information like if they have collected their name first name email address phone number then uh, most of the time marketers spend time on collecting more information like where their lead is walking and which all geographies their companies is based out of so a lot of information uh, usually b2b marketers collect inside their marketing automation system whereas in b2c companies a whole whole goal whole goal of the system is different where they focus on uh, again on loyalty programs increasing retention of the customers then uh, then increasing sales uh, that is most of the time in b2c it is focused on so looking at the different requirements you could see in b2c have a very different set of requirements there b2b counterparts where the conversions are done without the sales assistance so now you could see in case of uh, B2C companies where uh, there are very few salespeople in B2C companies except the retail stores at the end mile, end mile uh, customer deliverables sales assistance are usually given, but at larger part, the sales team are not there in B2C. So uh, marketing automation are always used in B2C to automate whole of the communication, whole of the product release, features release, service release, any kind of information which companies uh, want to announce among their audiences, their leads, their prospects, their contacts. For all these purposes, uh, marketing automations are used. Uh, in case of B2C marketing automation, where it focus on uh, detailing, 
building customer segments and then helping the customers in case of b2b you can see uh, most of the time marketers they personalize one-to-one -one, uh, information whereas in b2c uh, they usually personalize according to the segments so on the platform usually in in case of b2c operations a very a good segmentation features help marketers uh, personalize all these uh, segment of customers those who are doing any particular activity on on their website on their mobile apps or in their store Coming to the classification of uh, marketing automation currently, uh, which is available in the market, we could see uh, the marketing automation features. Uh, it is mostly used to track the behaviors of uh, the lead, their contacts, their customers, everything online. And then uh, it is also used to uh, move the leads from the top of the funnel of the marketing activities to the sales to the sales funnel of the marketing activities so uh, these are some of the classification of uh, of the of the marketing automation in case of uh, uh, b2b uh, most of the time we work with a lot of complex workflows uh, where we could see uh, where we could see a different kind of workflows like lead nurturing workflow lead scoring workflow lead grading workflow or uh, contact management workflow or contact cleaning workflow webinar workflow there are multiple workflows which a lot of organizations work uh, inside a whole of the marketing automation that is where the marketing automation uh, classifies itself then uh, we could see uh, we have uh, a lot of uh, classification uh, after the classification marketing automation also helps us to grow uh, the business you could see uh, marketing automation platforms today they are enabling to uh, to to generate the personalized content to monitor the online behavior of the customers as we have already mentioned then properly segment then augment the conversion most of the time all these activities drill down to the bottom line of the organization where every organization tries to push their bottom line and to convert their customers uh, for, for their business uh, further moving down uh, it also helps to retain the customers and it makes if you are if you have really good customer retention strategy you can put up whole of these strategy on these platforms to uh, make your customers sticky and being loyal on the platform uh, further to this we have a lot of advantages for marketing and sales usually we could see a lot of marketing and sales when they are working together it helps all of the platform strategy it is uh, it usually helps to align align the common goal of the marketing and sales if they are uh, engaging themselves in 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 building the pipeline uh, for the conversion pipeline for a really great communication and putting all the customers and the leads on the same panel having having very aligned communication a whole of the whole of the strategy you can build on a uh, marketing automation hello yeah hello Ankit. yeah we can hear you now there was some network issue i think so is it yes yes now we can uh, see the screen now you can uh, guys can you please tell that uh, the sound and the screen are uh, visible okay okay so they can hear and see the screen also uh, you can continue it okay so uh, from which slide shall i continue uh, the previous slide great yeah great so uh, we were here uh, where we uh, we were having discussion about uh, what are the different uh, uh, how how does the whole platform helps a business uh, you can see there's a whole goal uh, which marketing automation kind of platforms fulfill for the business uh, then uh, for the marketing and sales team it it enables them with uh, uh, with goal of uh, putting ROI in place for uh, both of the marketing and the sales team. They help, uh, the platform helps in building a long relationship with the existing leads, contacts, and uh, customers. Then it also helps sales teams to discover upsell and cross-sell activities. It helps marketing team being more productive and being focused on more of promoting the products after whole of the strategies are in place. Uh, further to this whole of the whole of the marketing automation kind of platform also helps a lot to the customers you can see whole of uh, since whole of the communication is uh, uh, centralized and whole of the communication is uh, more of uh, clear across the buying funnel of the customers you can see on the left on the screen we have uh, a very famous uh, gartner uh, gartner graph the map which b2b buyers uh, goes through 
Although in case of B2C buyers, this process are usually a little bit shorter where they do not engage with a lot of participants. But in case of B2B buying process, a lot of buyers engage in the process where, uh, where you have uh, almost six to seven people participating in uh, different buying decisions where uh, you have the champion, you have the buying decision maker, then the IT team, then the sales team, everybody sitting out together and then having discussions. So a whole and soul, uh, the marketing automation kind of platform, it simplifies whole of the buying journey of the customer by giving them uh, really relevant information and keeping them on the page where all the teams are there. So it simplifies and you can see uh, the whole, it simplifies the customer buying journey whole and soul, uh, this platform enables you to bring a business to be more closer with their customers. Uh, where uh, we could see uh, before uh, you, you you start implementing any of uh, these platforms or the strategies on the platform, it is very important to start a, a start assessment of the platform where our team has put up a couple of points and we could see you said uh, first, it's any platform it should be easy to learn and implement you should always look out for a platform uh, which has a lot of uh, documents available then good technical support is available and customer success teams are in place then a whole of the integration and data ecosystems are there where you can integrate your whole of the platform like website mobile app and everything in place with the uh, with the platform and then also check out the reviews of the platform how the existing customers are making around so this is uh, one of the uh, one of the chart which one of the graph which which tells you about uh, how does the integration ecosystem works for different businesses here you could see a platform is marketing automation platform is in in center and you can integrate all of your sms email post notification communication with the customers then you can integrate the chats chatbots then your mobile app your website or in a store and on other side you can integrate complete of the marketing like forms website everything is available on the platform with the marketing automation uh, where it starts engaging with uh, your leads your contacts uh, all in one at single place and then uh, you can integrate your existing applications like crm erp cbs or rms or any kind of system where your customers are hanging around or you have the database in place so whole of the system integrates and then it starts pulling all of the contact and then start engaging them at one single place and then keep on measuring them where which all stays your uh, contacts are and then accordingly it starts move, moving them down the funnel to the sales team towards the sales team so uh, all in all you could see uh, the automation platform it it helps you with the communication marketing communication with your uh, audiences and then engaging them properly managing the communication and then automatically moving them down the funnel to the sales this is the inside working of the marketing automation which is uh, as of today working uh, working with a lot of organization when we implement so you could see in the center in the yellow and the orange is the core part of the automation where you we have uh, uh, on the platform or uh, marketing automation platforms like uh, pii management then multi channel and uh, multi channel data segmentation data predictive data then uh, clever ids and tracking ids followed by that uh, on the platform you can organize uh, uh, automation campaigns omni channel campaigns marketing asset management ad orchestration so all these operations can be done on single platform uh, when it is integrated with all of your uh, social media channels like social media pages twitter facebook linkedin any of the pages you can integrate with your sms post notification and email services also where you can uh, have all these uh, all these direct communications with your uh, target audiences then you could see inside walking inside uh, here you have uh, uh, customers coming inside the data it gets analyzed again and with the help of dmp and uump or any of the data integrations that your organization has put up these can be integrated and all these data can be pushed inside the automation platform and these can be processed automatically so uh, when we see the complexity of the integration and then uh, then what exactly works inside the 
a marketing automation kind of platform we come to uh, put in the process where uh, where everybody before implementing you should be deciding uh, what is the goal you want to attain from these uh, automation uh, automation platforms then uh, how do you want to select the automation uh, automation solution then how do you want to optimize the uh, marketing workflows or the marketing activities on the platform and then uh, finally you can uh, you can evaluate the marketing performance how how the performance is moving across and what kind of roi it is bringing in into the organization for uh, for the sales for uh, for the different uh, business processes uh, here uh, it is always really good to follow the best practices in the marketing and we have collected some of the best practices uh, out here some of the best practices is always in marketing is to develop ideal customer persona uh, we should always develop when we have implemented marketing automation in place then uh, we should be always yeah. always putting up uh, uh, really uh, ideal customer persona targets uh, around which goal of the content delivery goal of the content communication or the communication channel should be engaged then the personalized content should be put up on the platform and then uh, collect the important information from the lead which is very much important those who are coming to your website it is very much important to uh, collect all those leads their email addresses their phone numbers everything inside the system and then uh, you can make a killer uh, lead scoring model based on the engagement of the contacts how they are engaging on the website how they are interacting with the ads how they are interacting with the email communication sms communication all the communication and then uh, you can also provide them a really relevant uh, uh, relevant content for uh, for more engagement so you could see uh, following these practices on the automation plat on the automation platform marketing automation platform it starts yielding you a really great result and really great performance for uh, for your team or for the company many a times everybody uh, discuss about what is the difference between marketing automation and the email automation so uh, here our team has tried to explain uh, the difference and also we have uh, a blog written on uh, a blog written on what are the differences we have uh, inside these blog which is mentioned on this ppt uh, you can read through uh, what are the differences on marketing automation and email e email marketing automation as the name says the marketing automation is more vast uh, implementation where you have sms email post notification multiple channels uh, where your contacts get engaged but in case of email marketing automation you only have very basic emails where you can automate automate communications over email uh, inside marketing automation most of the time you have the form builder you have the landing page builder you have uh, contact management contact tracking then uh, all the uh, all the features which you require in a proper marketing team to execute all the marketing practices to uh, to get the customers so you have all the marketing automation features available on the marketing automation kind of platforms some of the metrics which you should be looking upon uh, when you are implementing the marketing automation or have successfully implemented you should be always uh, tracking some of the metrics like uh, conversion rates of the revenue cycle of the revenue per lead how much lead uh, how many or uh, how much revenue a lead is giving to you uh, how is the sales productivity after implementing whole of the marketing uh, automation so the sales productivity uh, usually improves the marketing productivity always improves because it automates a lot of tasks it enables the sales team with a lot of qualified leads so it saves a lot of time so the productivity need to be always measured out there for after the implementation of a successful marketing automation products followed by that uh, uh, you should also measure the mql and the sql uh, sql generated the mqls are mostly marketing qualified leads and the sales qualified leads how how much in what quantity and from what all regions and what all different parameters how many of them are coming to uh, your marketing automation system in your business you can measure all these things uh, on the platform you can also uh, measure the cost per uh, customer which is coming inside the platform after whole of marketing operations uh, here are some of the success uh, our team has collected across the web from across the web which uh, where you could see 79 percent of the top of fine companies are using marketing automation as of today on the planet then we have around 53 uh, percent of the fortune 500 companies they use uh, mostly marketing automation for uh, for automating their b2b and b2c processes where they want to interact with the target audiences in their b2b and b2c services and the products interaction 
then 63% uh, of the companies are outgrowing their competitors using marketing automation software a software so many of the businesses they are using marketing uh, marketing automation as their competitive strategy for uh, to compete with their competitors in the market and then more than 75% of the companies are using uh, marketing automation to see ROI within uh, next 12 months so it is not like uh, easy solution which you can implement today and tomorrow morning you, you are going to get the ROI so there is drastic ROI which comes in between uh, nine months to uh, 12 months uh, down the lane after the successful implementation. So these are some of the numbers which gives a really bold outlook for marketing automation implementation. So now during this uh, this time, it is really good time to get your organization prepared or everybody on the same page uh, with the data first strategy where we uh, where uh, you should be putting up a whole of the data first strategy among the marketing sales and the uh, and the product team if you are planning to implement any of uh, marketing automation in your organization then uh, you should uh, focus more on how to capture and interact uh, the behavior of the customers those who are interacting with your business or your company for your products or services then uh, it is always good to keep marketing and sales team aligned uh, keep a plan on how you want to align marketing and the sales team then it is always good to understand the customer and the data ecosystem behavior where your customers are going what they are doing or uh, what all competitors they are visiting online with which all products they are comparing uh, online it is always really good to strategy to find out before you uh, plan to jump on implementing the marketing automation kind of platforms at Aretic, we have the product Aretic Pinpoint, which is focused on uh, on marketing uh, automation, uh, catering the requirement of both B2B and B2C with many different features uh, for uh, both uh, both different kind of marketing and sales team, uh, where we have also a uh, great integrations in place. So this is my profile. Uh, I'll be uh, sharing uh, sharing this PPT with my team, and they will be sending this PPT to you all and uh, the recorded version of this video will be also available on youtube so now i would like to go over to uh, go over to sonika who will help us uh, with the q a sessions uh, where we have uh, all the q a sessions aligned and then uh, we need to have discussion so over to uh, sonika so yeah. yeah thank you ankit uh, you need to make me a host for that yes thank you yeah i think some my screen is there okay uh, so yeah so we are ready for the q a as i told you earlier also keep a note of it keep learning and keep a point whatever you are learning and uh, so that you can ask question after the uh, after the ppt after the webinar whatever all the all your doubts are so let's start it i got some of the question from you guys and uh, let me see from the starting so many of us uh, many of us want to know about mql and sql so difference of mql and sql okay so uh, when uh, yeah i hope you all can hear me right yes yes we can great so mostly mql is uh, a marketing qualified lead so uh, we should uh, always the marketing is being into the marketing strategy and designing all of the marketing strategies we always measure the, how many of the leads that is coming into the funnel they are mql if the leads are usually coming from the ad usually coming from uh, from the website or from chat or from a mobile app we do not qualify uh, all of these leads as mql we all uh, we all qualify these leads as just leads or contacts so on based on what condition we make them mql marketing qualified leads so for example if uh, today we are marketing uh, if uh, uh, let us suppose if uh, if i'm a guy at at marketing and if i'm using a brand called coca cola and then somebody uh, coming over there and just registering on the coca cola website and then say that they just want a cold drink or they 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 want something cold out there to drink so these kind of guys those who are asking about uh, about the cold drink we usually mark them as uh, 
uh, as MQL. So they, they, they are aware about the, what they need. They, what they need is, is something cold they want to drink. That is cold drink. So we usually classify them as MQL. So now, for example, if these, the same leads coming out there at any place and they directly say that I want Coca-Cola. So we call these kind of customers or these kind of leads or the contacts directly as uh, SQLs because they know what brand they want to buy they know what they want to purchase and they are directly asking they know that they want a cold drink whose brand is coca-cola and then they then they go ahead and then they purchase the brand so here you could see we call it as sql or sales qualified leads so they know the brand they know the product and then they know the feature of the product and they know what kind of problem uh, using cold drinks will be solved we call these as SQL. So in any of the business, when we are setting up any of the marketing or sales process, so we always classify the incoming leads among MQL and SQLs. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. I, hope, you. uh, I hope I uh, hope this answers uh, your question because I tried to explain this with very basic example uh, out here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I think so it's, it's clear, thank you. For uh, uh, helping us on this question. Um, so one of uh, the attendees asked that who exactly needs marketing automation in his business? How he will understand the person understand that at, in this stage of his business he really needs an automation in, in the marketing. Yeah. So uh, there is uh, two things out there. Uh, Earlier, uh, 10 years back, uh, everybody said that uh, enterprises need marketing automation. But as of today, we see not only enterprises, even the startups, they need marketing automation because there are vendors in the market, those who are catering to even the startups, even the mid-scale businesses or small-scale businesses, everybody out there. Why it is required? The reason is very much today out there is a very first compliance that is coming from different government across the globe like GDPR, then the data protection law, all these law are making, uh, making, uh, making the collection of these, these data for any company uh, abid by the law where they have to put up the constant information on the platform. So from basic requirement, uh, you could see from startups to mid scale or even a small companies, they need uh, marketing automation as of today where they can manage their contacts, their, they can manage their uh, contact information, they can communicate, they can nurture. So you can implement advanced marketing automation strategies when you have large amount of leads coming in. But from day one, you can implement very basic marketing automation strategies like uh, uh, getting uh, making a lot of forms, then capturing a lot of information uh, from the website or from different places about the lead and then uh, making them uh, making them aware that you are present your business is running sending them newsletters sending them announcements then uh, nurturing them through very small uh, small marketing and sales funnels and then measuring uh, how many how many leads are are going through the funnel at certain time what is the lead uh, what is the velocity of the lead they are converting what is the speed they are converting or uh, what is the issue they are having you can debug all of the marketing and sales related problems on the platform so marketing automation as of today it, it, it should be used by all of the businesses those who have digital interaction in place also i will give you one more example where today marketing automation kind of platform is required is that Today, in a world where you could see 10 years back, we had only email and SMS. Today, you have a lot of communication in place like email, SMS, post notification, Twitter notification, LinkedIn notification, Facebook notification. You have all the channels of medium where your customers are hanging around, where your target audiences are hanging around. How you are going to manage all these at single place? It's, it's almost next to impossible to manage any of any or all of these interactions at your mailbox level or at your, uh, at your spreadsheet or at your Excel sheet. It is almost next to impossible. So again, this is one of the place where, uh, where marketing automation kind of products becomes a very first application platform to go ahead with and implement integrate with your website or mobile app and then get started with uh, all of your marketing and sales activities so i hope uh, sonika this answers my question because i i have gone to very uh, length and breadth length, length and breadth where uh, where this kind of platform is required yeah. right? 
Yeah, you have uh, told us in very in-depth knowledge about it, and uh, uh, I hope uh, the they got the answer of what they are looking for. Uh, one more question is there. Uh, three, four uh, people ask that they are from digital marketing and yes. they are into mar digital marketing. Basically, they are doing uh, uh, campaigns and FB ads, Google ads and SEO. So mm -hmm. how this marketing automation will be beneficial for them in their digital marketing uh, domain right. and how they can use it, how they can um, um, get benefit from this. Okay, so here uh, I have one uh, couple of questions out there with everyone out there. We, we keep on generating a lot of leads from different places in digital marketing, where digital marketing is really helpful in generating leads. But the question is, are we measuring these leads? How many leads are converting? What happens to the leads, those who do not convert, those who the, whom, whom we throw out? How we can how we can if, if if our goal is to optimize optimize the conversion marketing or implementing proper marketing automation strategy then your conversion goes to almost 20 percent it's not one percent two percent from your from your ads if if you are trying to directly convert the customer from your from your ads always remember the ad platforms they always show the same ad from your competitor to the same audiences and they also show the ad to the same audience for your company or the product so your your customers whom you are acquiring from the ads they know about all of your competitors they know all of the features of your competitors they they know all of the detail about your competing products so now what they don't know today they don't know about you is that how good you are a ad cannot tell tell that how good you are a ad cannot tell how good is your customer support how a ad cannot tell cannot explain how how better better your company is so these are some of the places when you are acquiring leads you should always measure very first thing second thing if you are measuring them then then you would be able to improve the quality of the lead acquisitions then you can say that okay if i'm acquiring 100 leads per month 99 are are not going down the lane and they're not converting 99 uh, out of 99 70 need 70 people are valid 70 leads are valid they need more information about the products about the company about the uh, about uh, about the working of the product about the uses of the product about uh, about the company's uh, a company's review so all these can be communicated from marketing automation kind of platform from where you can communicate the value to to your to your contacts and leads so now when you translate, when you communicate all these values to your leads, then what happens whole and soul, you are putting up everything out there in front of your customers. Now your ad results also improves your, your incoming flow from the marketing, digital marketing activities. It improves a lot of, uh, a lot of result. There you cannot, you do not go back to your management team and say that your ads are not working, your, uh, your uh, your lead capturings are not working so you can see the implementation of these kind of platforms what kind of improvement it brings it brings the measurement the moment you measure you can improve your activity so so when you are bringing the measurement in case of digital marketing then definitely you are going to improve your marketing activity whole together so this is the core core of the marketing automation where uh, where being into digital marketing field you should be focused on yeah, yeah. thanks Ankit, for this answer uh, one more question i have was, i was thinking about um, there are many uh, uh, startups and uh, young entrepreneurs over here also uh, mm -hmm. who are learning new things and many uh, newbies also who are learning and wanted to want to execute in their work so uh, what do you recommend that uh, in this automation software, whatever software we see, there are various uh, features over there. Mm -hmm. But for a startup or for a newbie or uh, some who is newly learning about marketing automation, mm -hmm. uh, what is the prime feature he or she must look for, uh, for to focus on first? Yeah. So uh, when you are uh, implementing whole of the marketing automation, very first thing is uh, you should be aware that marketing automation is not a tool. It is whole and sole strategy out there to bring improvement across business, across company, across marketing, across sales, and 
within your customer communications also. So when you are implementing this strategy, you should be uh, very much aware how does the customers or how does the leads come into a business, your business, how they are uh, moving across the business, what kind of things they usually look out for, uh, for the product, what kind of searches they do, what kind of persona these kind of leads are having the behaviors, then coming to the features of the marketing automation, which you should be aware about before implementing is a uh, very first thing is contact management. Then how does the contact management work? How does the, uh, how does the custom fields, the customer properties, the uh, contact properties, company properties, how do they work? How does the lead scoring work? How does the basic email campaigns work? What is the difference between subscribers? And then uh, you should be also aware about how to use subscription forms to capture a lot of audiences from website, how to embed the subscription forms at different places on your website or mobile apps or any of the places, how to make, uh, make your contacts compliant, how to make your uh, contacts more uh, you know, more clean inside your inside your uh, marketing automation database. Then uh, you should be also aware about uh, about the marketing funnel. How does the marketing basic marketing funnel is going to work? Do you have very simple strategy to uh, put up in place of the properties? Like okay, these uh, X properties you can uh, use for uh, measurement of MQLs or Y properties you can use for SQLs to qualify them as SQLs. So these uh, properties you can uh, put up in place. So you should be uh, understanding of these things. Then uh, definitely the landing pages, uh, landing, landing page features. Then how does the lead routing work? How does the lead scoring works? How does the lead pointing works? How does the customer working or the customer workflow works? What are the different activities you can automate and forget forever? You can automate inside the marketing automation and you can put up the workflows and then uh, start on uh, start on putting more focus on bringing more leads to the platform or the product or the service for the company. So these are some of the things, very basic things you should be having understanding. Then on intermediate level, you should be having understanding about how does the data flow from one system to other system what are the key differences between crm and then marketing automation what are the key who are the key users of marketing automation and then uh, then the crm then uh, on the automation platform you should be aware about uh, how does the utm tracking works how does the link tracking works how to how to prepare a custom report inside marketing automation platforms how to make attribution reports inside the platform from where the customers are dropping off you should be aware about uh, from uh, which particular process marketing process has major drop-offs or which particular process uh, works really well or which particular process needs a lot of improvement so these are some of the intermediate topics on marketing automation that you should be aware about and uh, looking at advanced at advanced level there are a lot of things still out there with which we keep on experimenting with a lot of uh, a lot of different audience segments uh, how does the segment works how many different segments we can divide the customers along and then finding out the interests how much different personalizations uh, you can do very in-depth personalization of emails sms or any of the communication channel campaigns so these are some of the advanced topics on marketing automation which you can work off yeah Thank you. Uh, guys, I really am um, really see, seeing uh, questions related to the um, automation, but uh, it includes our, our platform, which we are having Aritech. Uh, this webinar is more about asking more about uh, marketing automation concepts. So I really encourage you if you have any doubt related to uh, marketing automation, their, their theory, uh, how to do it, how to implement it, new strategies you, uh, you want to new, uh, know about it, just uh, drop a question. And if you want to know about the platform, uh, they will uh, send a link, uh, send you the mail regarding it. You can go through it. So if any question um, related to marketing automation, how to use it, lead nurturing, uh, use of landing page, how to attract it, anything about it, you can uh, drop a question. So I have a few questions over here. Let me see. 
Okay, so there's one question is there, what is the, um, what's the difference between a CRM and a marketing automation tool? Are they different or is, it's a part of the marketing automation feature? Uh, yep. So when we talk about CRM, so uh, it's pretty interesting. I mean, we are sitting in 2020 and we are talking about CRM. So uh, we always call CRM uh, CRM in the market and then we look, look, look back in history and then see, okay, there are a lot of CRM out there in the market. So today in 2020, even your phone is your CRM, your customer relationship management or your contact relationship management. So when we talk about CRM, everything is right now CRM, which holds contact and you do any kind of operation, either calling, either interacting, either building relationship, it, the, the whole uh, thing converts into CRM. So when we are talking about CRM, uh, looking at this commodity term, uh, which is there in the market as for very long, and it is not very clear what exactly is CRM. Even marketing automation, many of the customers, they call it as marketing CRM. So uh, when we are talking about a CRM, very basic perceptions that builds up out there is that it should manage it should a CRM is a product or the ecosystem or the platform or any tool that manages the contacts for the company. So you could see inside the marketing automation, many of the times it, it manages the contacts in when they are into lead phase, when they are into prospect phase, and that is how it manages all of the contacts out there into the marketing automation. And usually the CRM where we could see the basics, it, it used to be at the bottom line where the sales team converted a lot of leads. So we call it as sales CRM. And then uh, there is very clear difference between CRM and then marketing automation. If, if we are there in 1995, then definitely it, it brings a lot of difference between uh, marketing automation and CRM is that marketing automation is for marketers and then CRM is for salespeople. Then uh, coming in 2005 and then right now sitting in 2020 where we could see where we can define everything is, is CRM which, which holds and manages contact for the company. So uh, whole and soul now you can see or you can feel the difference what exactly is the difference between the marketing automation platform and the CRM and mostly the marketing automation platform deals in with a whole lot of complex integration where it helps you to listen to your uh, contacts listen to your target audiences really well and clear from the market so you listen to your audiences you track them you track them through website you track them through ads you track them you track their behavior through through communication channels so this is where a marketing automation features works really well compared to the crm yeah. so i hope uh, i ans uh, i have answered the difference between crm and marketing automation yeah actually we have completed uh, most of the questions and mm -hmm. yes we are seeing question and answer q a and chats also mm -hmm. uh, i have covered all the questions over here and uh, yeah we have almost covered all the questions thank you so much ankit uh, for being with us and uh, covering all the questions and uh, answering them all and uh, sharing us this amazing ppt and knowledge about it and uh, yes, I personally looking forward to another webinar of us so that we can uh, go together and uh, uh, know more about marketing automation, learn from people and spread our knowledge what we have and especially what you have from. Uh, so yeah, so I think so. And there's one more question here. Uh, how CRM, uh, how this marketing automation tool is uh, good for lead generation, how much we can efficiently uh, nurture it? Means I, we can totally aut automate it or through a percentage we can do and uh, it, it, it will work. Uh, when we look look ahead uh, for the cold lead generation, so I would say that today uh, cold lead generation, it requires more of working part inside marketing automation or add-ons where you need to first uh, first make sure that all these cold emails or cold contacts are, are really good in place. They are validated, they are active. And then when uh, you put them on the marketing automation platform and uh, start engaging them, you, 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 are, uh, you are able to uh, measure how they are interacting, what responses you are getting out there and uh, uh, what they are uh, going through. So 
if you implement some of the systems before engaging them into the marketing marketing automation it brings in a great result where you can automate every single engagement for example if if you have validated your emails your contacts and everything and you are putting in inside marketing automation and you have built a marketing program or marketing campaign around uh, around certain topics around certain behaviors of the target audience and you have launched a lot of landing pages launched a lot of forms and in combination when you are running all these campaigns along with the ad then definitely it it, it brings in a really good result for the engagement and it drives all of your lead generation effort towards the bottom line of the sales uh, converting them into prospects then sql and then uh, then uh, making them into sales opportunities yeah yeah thanks ankit it was a uh, really great uh, uh, having this session with you guys and with uh, with you ankit and uh, i personally learned a lot about uh, many features about the marketing automations and how this work mm -hmm. and uh, looking forward for another webinar in future dates great. So yeah, thank you guys for joining us and thank you for all your questions. Thank you for listening uh, and being with us with this one hour. It was amazing. Thank you guys. Thank you, Ankit. Thank, thank you, you so everyone. Much. Thank you, Sonika. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Bye. Take care, guys. Thank you.